Hey, -o. me, Brian. <laughs> okay, guys, today I got a surprise for you. This is the long awaited new episode of my new cooking show. Heck yeah, we're right here live from, you know, mom's kitchen, right? And we got something good today. We got cooking up for you guys right now, right? It's a little snack that I kind of like enjoy myself every once in a while. You know, it's all good. But it's real simple. It's only got a couple of ingredients. You know I'm saying you got to spend a little time at the stove at the skillet. You know what I'm saying? But hey, you know what I'm saying? You got to learn to cook sometime, bro. Right, now, this here is, uh, you know, we're going to explain what it is. Go step by step. Let you guys know what we're doing. Right? Today, we're going to have, you know, shredded jack cheese and flour, tor you know, flour tortilla quesadillas with jalapenos. Hang on. Okay, this is what we're dealing with, right? We got some uh, these home style flour tortillas, right? You know, Lynn Wilson's. <laughs> nice and you know, extra soft, right? There's three of them in this bag, right? They expired on the 6th of this month. Still good, they're in the refrigerator. These ones here are Rayleigh's, they come from the supermarket over in Tonopah. They expired, right? Um, let's see, September 29th of last year. Look, you can use these flour tortillas, you're not going to die. There's no mold on them, they didn't get wet on the inside. Mom took care of them, take care of the refrigerator. These are still good. We're going to eat them right now so that we don't have to worry about it. We're going to mix them with these ones. This is the same deal. Right? They're still good, it's still soft. Next ingredient, we got here, this here gigantic bag of food club shredded cheddar jack cheese. Right? We got a little bit of, you know, Fabio's favorite stuff. You know what I'm saying? I cannot believe he's in the border. All right, then it's in the coat the bottom, you know, put in the tortillas, get them a little crispy, all right? Okay, then we got some garden snack, right? Sliced mild jalapeno peppers. But I ate a few of these, they're not really that hot, they're pretty good. The you know, pickling juice is good, right? And then they got, you know, good numbers right here, it's jalapenos, right? And, right, just for fun, we got three different types of red hot sauce, right? We got everybody's favorite, Tapatio, salsa picante, right? Cayenne pepper powers that one. Right, and chili arbo. And then we got, you know, fire Taco Bell's official fire sauce. I'm up for it if you are. Right, once again, this one is chili arbo. A little bit of kind of pepper, maybe some habanero. And then we got my personal favorite, right, Louisiana Jim garlic hot sauce. This stuff's the bomb. Right, it's got, you know, the numbers are, you know, zero. It's hot sauce, right? So, you know, got all three, right? So, first thing you want to do is you want to light up your skillet right here, right? Take some flour tortillas. Let's see how many we got here. Get the two flour tortillas right, right off the get go. Right. Right. Pop open no Fabio. Right. Get a little bit on your, you know, spatula. I like these rubber spatula for this. Right. It works good for spreading mayonnaise and some mustard, you know, cheese bread, all that stuff. Put a little burn on that baby gear, you know, get it going. Right. Now. Now, next step, right, is take a, you know, good shot, and wash your hands first, bro, yeah, I did, wash your hands, COVID-19 and all that, man, you know what, you know, you, you, you know, your homeboy over there, and you die, right, okay, put your little bit of cheese right here, right, you know, enough to make it worthwhile, right, got, no, got to taste it, it's not poisonous. Alright, get all spread out, good and even, right? Okay, don't, you know, don't let nothing get in the skip, right? If you're still sticky and messed up, man, you'd be pissed off. Alright, next step, take your scoop, you know, spoon, scoop full, right? Some jalapenos, alright? Spread those babies out even in a pattern, like you just put pepperonis on a pizza, you know what I mean, bro? Alright, one in the middle, oh. Oh, yeah. I've got to take one. We're not pulling. Alright, that one there. I'll put one big fat giant one right there. Alright. Okay, all good. All good on the western front. Alright, the so next thing you do is, is you know, spread some more of you know, Fabio stuff right here on the tortilla. Put it down in there. Alright, smash it as flat as you can get. Oops. Right. As you can see, Fabio is doing his job and he's crisping himself on the bar. 
Couldn't find spatula, so we're gonna use mom's here, you know, good you know, pie knife. <laughs> uh, yeah, you shouldn't use metal. Uh, okay. That should be pretty crispy. Make sure it doesn't stick. Alright, we got it. Let's roll it. That's probably a Jewish trick on this guy. Make sure it's loose. Yeah, I got hung up right there. Make sure it's loose. Woohoo! Oh. Tend to the tiny cheese. You know, popped off. You want to keep your skillet pretty dry here. Alright. You want to get all gummy and gooey. Mmm, that's up. Well, try your best not to peel off any of that cup line. Well, let's see how you go. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. See? A bit more. Look, look good. A bit more. Put them on my plate. Put them on my plate. No. We do, bro. Well, since we only got three of these little ones, you know, five of these little ones, I made two, you know, made two. All right, I got half one right here. So I figure, okay, once he gets a little crispy, we just fold him over like that. You know what I'm saying? And let him go for me. Fire up. Jim still got them Wilson right here. Man, you have Cheerio. Oh yeah, jalapeno juice is always good. No, yep, put me back. Look at that, perfect. <laughs> hmm? All right, ah, here we are. All right, we got our three favorites. You see, it's up to you. Uh, hot taco, hot sauce, hot fire, uh, and you know, new jam. All right, so now we're gonna do the old cake test here. Let's let's put some Louisiana gum right here. Top teal right here. Right. I'm gonna put some Taco Bell hot fire sauce right here. Woo now remember. And then you got some hot peanuts inside. So, test the deal. You understand? Know Rip her off. Let's try Louisiana first, because I like that one. Mm -hmm. Garlicky. You know what I'm got lots of flavors. Well, the numbers on this one are, uh, you know. Salt fat zero, pan fat zero, sodium is 95 milligrams, 4%. Now that's pretty low, but that's, you know, sodium. My total carbs is zero, my proteins is zero. My dish on two notes. Bye bye Ingredients is cayenne pepper, vinegar, garlic, salt, spices, and cantham gum. Good stuff. If you can find this, this is good. And this one is mild, it's not really hot. I mean, it's good, it's got a lot of flavors. You can taste all the chilies. All right, now, here we go. This one, everybody's favorite, top tier. Mm -hmm. A little bit more zingy, you know what I'm saying? That tastes more like a, you know, traditional Mexican style chili sauce. Mm. That's top tier. What are the numbers on here? Well, let's see. This is a topaz zero, that transpad zero, Sodium, 1110 milligrams, 6%. Right. Protein, zero. Total carb, zero. Right. Not, you know, significant, blah, blah, blah. What's the ingredient, Brian? Right. Made of water, red pepper, probably chili or bowl. Right. Salt, spices, garlic, aesthetic acid, xanthamum gum, sodium benzoate as preservative. 
So Taptio, uh, he got a little bit more heat. He got a little bit more preservative. He's not too bad though. They're all right. Now, this last one, the big thick one with the clump in it. See it right there, thick and clumpy? Yeah. That's a official Taco Bell fire sauce. Yeah. Let's give him a go. Hmm. Lots of them seem similar to you know, the top deal, but thicker. Numbers on him are, you know, talk about zero. Sodium, 45 milligrams. It's the lowest one of the bunch, 2%. Total carb zero, protein zero. The ingredients list. Whoa, this one's pretty long. That's it. Remember this corporate Taco Bell. Water, tomato puree, uh, jalapeno peppers, vinegar, salt. Contains less than 2% of red jalapeno pepper. But puree. Uh, chili, red uh, pepper. Onions, modified food stock, spices, onion, red dried onions, yeast extract, xanthamum gum, right, dexedrine, dexa, dexa something, dexa boost, sodium benzenate, right, as a preservative, right, potassium, right, chlorate, yeah, maldodextrin, acetic acid, dried garlic, natural flavors. The last time I found out what a natural flavor was, it was fig raspberry, and they made it from the strotum of a raccoon. So, you know it, corporate. That's a lot of ingredients. Huh? So which one would I say is the best one? Me, personally, I like the garlic hot sauce. I like the garlic to taste of it. Top tier is all good. My personal favorite is not here. Over in the trailer, right? And there's three, you know, three flavors, three styles, right? It's a uh, Cholula. You got the regular Cholula with the wooden cap. They got Cholula with the red cap, which is, you know, pretty much basically better than this. Then you got Cholula with the green cap, which is, you know, green cap. Huh? So, how's the cheese good, Brian? Guess the deal. They're wham, they're slamming, Jack, and I can't even get them off the plate. Let's see. Oh, yeah, look at that. Cook good. Huh? Yeah, let's try the first one. Look at that bad boy. Looks like a big giant pancake, but it's got cheese and jalapenos in it. This is me, Brian. Yeah, you guys missed me. I know you did. Right? Because I make good ass shit. Huh? Back up.